Company's headquarters in Melbourne, the sets are under construction for their next big production, The Great Waltz. If the Tivoli was the icing on the Australian theatre, then Williamson's is the gingerbread. If Williamson's went under, it would virtually mean the end of big theatre in Australia. At the present time, the firm has six productions on the road. Four are said to be at least holding their own, one is making money, and one is losing money. Even for the firm, the going is rough at the moment. One, two, three, four. While the dancers rehearse the great waltz, the management keeps its fingers crossed that the show will go. It will have about $40,000 invested in it. The hard and perennial fact of theatre is that no one knows a success until the box office says it's a success. J.C. Williamson's comparatively new managing director, John McCullum, believes the theatre at the moment is on the defensive, and the only way to handle the situation is to attack. He talked of problems facing the theatre. Well, we do have a lot at the present time, more than usual, but uh, we're determined to surmount them, and we're doing that by putting on more attractions, more than ever. This is our biggest production year, I would say, for 20 years, probably, for Williamson's dinner. And um, we hope that with the shows, if they're successes, that uh, everything will soon change. It does in the theatre, you know, the pendulum swings, and it'll come up again, it must. Now, J.C. Williamson's made a loss last year. Yes. Are there any lessons to be learned from these sort of losses? Oh, yes, we're learning lessons the whole time, certainly. We want to turn them into a profit. Uh, but uh, there, there, there were many reasons for that, and, and we did know about most of them. Of course, we were preoccupied with the opera last year, you know, and that was a very, very heavy mm. undertaking. It wasn't only the financial loss, but it was all the energy and resources that went into building and putting on those seven operas, which was, was quite an undertaking. And that is why we had a lull afterwards. Uh, but now we're getting into second gear at any rate, and I think we'll be in top gear very soon. Uh, we've opened four productions in two months. We're opening two more, and they're good one. This one rehearsing behind us now, The Great Waltz, we have great faith in. At the moment, five out of six of our productions are showing a weekly profit. So I don't know what all the depression is about, <laughs> frankly.